Hi everybody, it's Zach Ward here. I just wanted to give you a quick update. I'm in my office, I apologize that it's a mess. Um, I know there's been some confusion recently with people having expectations of us having that meeting with Roger Goodell, and that has not happened at the moment. I would like to explain why, because I think people are frustrated by their expectations. So, Roger Goodell, head of NFL, um, I have a connection to him because I did a TV series called Titus. One of the showrunners of the show is called uh, Jack Kenny. Jack Kenny is a gay man. His husband, Michael Goodell, is Roger Goodell's brother. If you look at the last Super Bowl, um, they do a close-up shot of Roger Goodell, and he's standing next to a very tall man, about 6'5", blonde hair, good-looking guy, um, and that's his brother, Michael. They're very close. I have been offered the opportunity to meet with them, uh, meet with uh, Roger, and to present him with the ASM uh, opportunity. Obviously, as soon as that became an option that we were investigating, we really started focusing on refining the pitch. Because you guys know, uh, guys and gals, that it's uh, in one way it's very, very simplistic, and in another way it's very, very complex. And trying to polish that elevator pitch um, and present it in such a way that's very digestible, and there's, as you can see, it takes a minute to explain what we're trying to figure out how to explain so you can understand that it's not a simple process. In that process, we also discovered that the NFL uh, is very much involved with gambling. Um, win, lose, or draw, depending upon what your opinion is of gambling, that's up to you, but that's irrelevant because what that information taught us is that we really couldn't go into the NFL and start spanking them um, talking down to them, telling them that they were bad people for doing gambling when they had hundreds of millions of dollars already involved in that process and uh, were not going to back out based upon all sports market which did not have hundreds of millions of dollars. So we started looking at our positioning and our message. I personally am not a gambler. I don't enjoy it. I never got the whole thing. I don't go to Vegas. Um, but I didn't want to start chastising a megalith. So, you know, we all started talking about what was the best way to move forward on that and pivot our messaging from stop gambling, start investing, to just focusing on the positive aspects, start investing. So that was a really key pivotal thing. And obviously you can understand that was difficult because that's been such a core part of the messaging uh, from inception. I personally still believe investing is a better option and a smarter option than gambling, but that's my own personal judgment. I don't want to start, um, like I said, chastising or treat, chastising someone's decisions or treating them like a child when I cannot give them hundreds of millions of dollars as an offer uh, to counter that. So that really slowed down our process, and I will be honest with you, I'm glad it did. Uh, you never get a second chance at a first impression. And when it comes to a meeting with Roger Goodell and introducing this incredible opportunity to the NFL, um, nothing's more important than making sure that happens properly. So I understand if you're frustrated, I understand that you had expectations of things happening and they didn't happen and I, I apologize for that. At the same time, I would, uh, if I could go back in time and change the decision, I wouldn't because it was the right one to do and it needed um, to be adjusted so that we can be strong. Um, in other things that are going on, let's see, um, Chris and Ace and Alper and Jason and Paul and Ed and Bernie, um, everybody is grinding really, really hard on new and exciting opportunities that we're able to uh, create a more Hmm. There's so much I want to say, but so much I don't want to say. I'm sure you understand that. Um, not without the approval of everybody else at ASM. So let me put it this way. Uh, every neuron in our brains is firing as hard and as fast as possible uh, to create the best opportunity that we can. And I am very excited about them. And I want to tell you more about them, but I can't yet. I'm going to leave that up to Chris and Alper. Uh, to, make, to pull the trigger on that. Uh, but I want you to know from the center of my heart, I deeply appreciate your support and your patience. And by all means, reach out if you have any questions or concerns or suggestions. 
Uh, this is the All Sports Market family is a fantastic one, and I know that we're together. We're creating something much bigger and better than ourselves. Uh, so the synergy of that is incredibly important to me. Um, thank you for your patience. Thank you for listening. I hopefully this answered some questions. If you have any follow-ups, uh, please reach out, and I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.